Hey guys, it's more Mass Recall. I don't want to do intros anymore, so I'm not going to. Look, New Gettysburg, the least important mission in all of StarCraft. Like a beacon, the combined power of the Psy emitters reached out to the far corners of the Terran sector, luring billions of Zerg to the capital world of Tarsonis. The Zerg, overrunning the Confederacy's best defenses, proceeded to lay waste to Sar Tarsonis's major cities and industrial centers. picked up several dozen Protoss warships descending upon Tarsonis. They seem to be heading on a direct course to the primary Zerg hive. If they engage the Zerg, the Confederates may escape. Commander, send Lieutenant Kerrigan with a strike force to engage the Protoss. Captain Raynor and General Duke will stay behind with the command ship. First you sell out every person on this world to the Zerg. Then you ask us to go up against the Protoss. And you're gonna send Kerrigan down there with no backup? I have absolute confidence in Kerrigan's ability to hold off the Protoss. This is bullshit. Kerrigan, are you reading this? I heard. I'm going down there. Arcturus knows what he's doing. I can't back out on him now. Funny. I never thought of you as anyone's martyr. Arcturus, he does know what he's doing. He's a competent man. Good at his job. Trucks are dead. Why are you doing this, Kerrigan? Look, I know about your past. I mean, I've heard the rumors. I know you were part of those experiments with the Zerg. The Megs came and saved you. But you don't owe him this. Hell, I saved your butt plenty of times. Jimmy, drop the knight in shiny armor routine. It suits you sometimes. I feel like the audio balance on these cutscenes is very, what's a polite word, cinematic, <laughs> in that just like in a lot of movies, this is so bright. I I remember this now. Um, why is this so bright? I guess we are in the supernova mission for now on, but uh, I hate it whenever people are trying to make like cinematic stuff and they just make the audio so loud that you can't hear the dialogue. Like, come on, guys. It's really easy. It's really, really easy. All right, so I'm taking my dropships and I'm sending them on a death march because I want to make sure I have the supply opened up. This is a very interesting mission in that these aren't the objectives. Oh, yes, uh, so all Zerg buildings must survive. If a single Zerg building dies, you lose, which is honestly kind of an annoying thing, but Zerg do attack you, which is very rude of them. Not a big fan of them for that. And we have to fight the Protoss. This is the first time that we're going to engage the Protoss directly in the entire thing. And I find the way that the Protoss works in this... Gosh, I really hate the way this map looks. So I'll talk about the Protoss in a sec, but... One of the things that was lacking in StarCraft 1 was a city tile set. And that was very apparent on the UED missions where you go to Core Hall... There should be a cityscape, but they just use a desert. And for this, they use a sp space platform instead of the cityscape that normally they would use. Now, it is nice that they have that, and they're able to take this and make New Gettysburg into the city that it was supposed to be. It, But man, why this overlay? What is this? It's bad. Very odd artistic decision-making. I mean, you can't make them truly unharm, Arcturus. They are shooting me with their grooved spines. Uh, it's a really cool idea, it's just... It's like 
a blue light filter got put on, like it's nighttime, and you have flux installed because you gotta go Betty Bye at the right time. You know? Except I don't. Well, actually, my, my blue light filter doesn't actually come on for 23 more minutes, so... <laughs> better finish the mission by then. We will see. Alright, I'm going factories again. Mech is the only real way to engage Protoss, the reason being is that... Units in StarCraft 1 do less damage against units they're not good against instead of bonus damage against things they are good against. And what that means is stuff like Bio falls off real quick against armor. And Protoss has a lot of armor. So, good old mech. Definitely need spider mines to defend. I will try to go... Maybe I'll go a little bit of air next time. We did Bio at the beginning. We did mech. Did I just hear a vulture? Oh, I got some vultures here. Look at that. And then I will go for the final mission, a little bit of Sky Terran. Sky Terran's not, like, good, so... <laughs> Especially the Wraith is just a garbage unit. Oh man, the Dragoon is so strong. I think we're gonna be able to hold this pretty easy. Hopefully they don't start... Attacking my workers. I'm gonna pull these to the side. So Dragoons are very strong. They have a lot of HP. They have a lot of stats however You need to hit that critical mass and they don't have the range upgrade. I oh they do have the range upgrade They're just standing in range for whatever reason. Maybe it just finished or something Here you go uh, Spider-Man All right, Spider-Man's not interested today. He's we got things to do. What are you on? Oh, oh, maybe it's just Kerrigan who's firing. Yeah, that does look like it. She just hits like a truck. That's good, because the normal ghost hits like whatever the inverse of a truck is. An anti-truck. Okay, we got these going. We're going to get the Ion Thrusters upgrade. We're going to get Siege Mode, and we're going to get one of those dirt cheap armories. And then I'm going to go hunting for an expo. On this mission, I have a vague idea of where the expansion is, and I will head over there, but I don't exactly know the details of it. But first, we need to drop a couple spider mines. And I'm going to wait for the ion thrusters. This is more of a return mechanism than anything else. I want to make sure that I can get back home. So having vulture speed is good for when they... Inevitably counterattack me. Oh, hello. No! <laughs> Spider Mines. <laughs> the greatest and the worst thing in the universe. I just need to make sure that I'm putting my mines way farther away than I was. I'm not going to make another factory. Instead, I'm going to go two fact into an expansion. Because I can just float wherever I need to go. So Ion Thrusters are done. Oh, there's the expansion. Does this have a gas geyser? No. That's not good. Now, is there a gas geyser somewhere over here? Oh. Yeah. 6,000 right there. Alright, so I have a basic idea of what's going on around this area. Gonna drop some more spider mines here. Just try to not have to deal with the Protoss for a while. They are gonna send their attacks, and we're gonna be able to deal with them. I think I need another expansion. We gotta go one CC here, one CC here to afford the true mech experience. Which sounds really dumb, because it is. And then what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna lift off this and start heading over here with it. Use it to help my wall. How did he get past all the mines? There was mines here, there was mines here. Zealots are not good against spider mines, which is one of the reasons that you gotta go mech against Protoss. Because the Zealot is an absurd unit. It is just absolutely ridiculously well budgeted for its stats. Until you explode it. And then it's not very good anymore, it's dead. Also, I guess the concussive grenades from the Vultures do some pretty solid damage against them, but for the most part, Protoss is... 
I actually really like the design of Protoss in StarCraft 1. This is something that I've thought about for a couple years now. In StarCraft 2, it feels like the gateway units exist as a buffer to keep all of your big high-tech units alive. Where in StarCraft 1, and you'll be able to see this more when we actually play in that campaign, it feels like the gateway units are ridiculously powerful, but they need the support of your tech units in order to function properly. And that feels more Protoss to me, you know what I mean? Like, the Protoss are supposed to be these elite warriors, but there's not many of them, so it makes sense that they would take their entire faction's design to be about keeping those elite warriors alive and making them you know, like multiplying their combat effectiveness instead of just sending a thousand zealots to keep one Colossus alive. The Colossus should be the, vo not vulnerable, but the expendable resource, not the other way around. And that's one of the things that's always kind of frustrated me with StarCraft II design on Protoss. You know, like, when's the last time you cared about the life of a zealot? I don't, and I played this game deathless. All right, things seem to be going pretty well. I'm going to get a bunker here and start some Marines up, pop them on in. And then I'm gonna wait for one more attack and start heading out onto the map, finding some friends. Just like My Little Pony, friendship is magic. And, ooh, brutal. And then I assume, just like Ly My Little Pony, we're going to kill all those friends. I don't know much about My Little Pony. My sister did like it when she was younger, though. And she does main Dahaka in Heroes of the Storm, so, you know. I assume StarCraft and that are the same thing. Okay, I need more spider mines because there's Zergles coming out everywhere. But I also... I'm not sure. There's a couple bases on this map, and I just don't know where to fight. Let's start getting some of these going. I'm never going to be able to repair this bunker. I just thought about that. Oh, let's blow that up. Maybe wall off this area instead. I just don't want the Zerg to get into my mineral line, you know? Let's get a guy over here. Now, I know for a fact that there's a Reaver right up here, and that is because there was a Twitch clip that I posted just recently about losing a million, uh, a million vultures to it. But Reavers don't have the ability to fire off of cliffs. So, oh, here's an attack wave. That's not good. Oh, this is bad. Really horrible positioning. We might have to get out of here. Here, spider mines, could you save me? I lost all the tanks there. They reset my tank count. That's pretty devastating. Ooh, big shot. Mines did save me. Let's get vehicle, and then we need a science facility? How do we get that? We need a starport first. I'm gonna get the second armory so I can get my 2-2 upgrades at the same time. And I was really excited about that positioning to tell you about how smart I am, and then I forgot the number one rule of Terran, which is make sure you have mines covering your flanks. 100% my fault, and I will fix that right now. Oh man, I am really bad at the just I need to be kiting aspect. Golly, Dragoons, they're really strong. So how am I doing here? Ten counts back up. That's pretty good. Let's get a science facility, which is spelled with E. All right. And then the Reaver can't fire off of cliffs, so what we're going to do is bring a couple guys up here, get vision of it, and snipe it. Oh, it's just out of range. That's bad. It still can't fire off of cliffs. So let's try to... Okay, this isn't working. It's okay though, vultures are free. Could you <laughs> chill out? How do you kill a reaver? Could you guys answer this in real time for me please? I need help. 
Worth it. <laughs> History has repeated itself and I don't care. Oh man, I lost a lot there. This is just bad. Let's get a couple more factories. Uh, where even do I want them? Probably one right here would be good. Ooh, that's Mutos. Oh, I probably need some Goliaths. I'm just going to siege up right here for a bit. As I try to figure out what I'm doing with my life. Kerrigan does so much damage against light targets, so... There's three different combat types in this. I don't know if I explained this before. But there's uh, different damage modifiers and different unit sizes in this game, and... There is explosive, concussive, and I think normal damage. And then there's big, medium, and small units. And small units take a lot from concussive. And concussive is what the ghost does. Concussive does almost nothing against most units in the game, but man, it absolutely... I'm getting weapon attacks again for my starships. Oh, don't, don't say anything in the comments. <laughs> I know I did it. Oh, crap. Man, at least I noticed... As it finished. <laughs> oh, I almost did something good. If only I had figured it out earlier. I'm going to put more mines this way and then I'm going to head south. We're just going to wash over the fact that I'm a failure. Oh, goodness. Is that the rally this way? Ooh, very nice. There's some scouts here, actually. And the scouts are helping that whole thing out. Luckily, scouts don't do damage against ground. They are the raids of Protoss. But they're even worse because they can't cloak. There we go. Start the pushing. And hopefully we can get through these choke points pretty well. Reavers and High Templar are great at guarding chokes, but they're not so good in those open fights, which is what we're looking to get. The real question is, where's the base? It's got to be around here. Here's the Reaver. Okay, we're going to stutter step over to it, target it down. It didn't get its second shot. Great. And then we're going to siege up right here and start siege pushing. Hopefully this is going to pull more enemies. And while this is happening, we are going to drop a billion more of these and check out this attack. Oh, gosh. All right, we got the Ion Thrusters upgrade, so we can zip on over here and clean this up. While well, we're doing a pretty good job over here as well. Oh, Goliaths are fighting on their own here. Let's get these tanks into this position. And then these guys over here. A lot of Goliaths coming out, and we did clean this up. Thank you, Mr. Buffer of Depots. We have 160 supply, which is huge. Really, really nice. Take it out, take it out. And this is one of two bases. How? Come on. Come on. How did you get past all that? It's a minefield. Okay, let's keep clearing. <laughs> I'm really proud of that zealot. I'm obviously very frustrated with him, but, I mean, you can't not be impressed. Oh no, there's a Kerrigan in there. Cloak again. They don't have detectors here, so Kerrigan won't die. Push Goliaths out and try to get everything we have back home. No overlords, please. Overlords do detect in this game. You don't need overseers, because they don't exist. Just try to repair everything, get what forces out we can, kill individual Zerglings with our tanks if we're lucky. Oh, that was a big Zerg push right there on a very vulnerable area with a hero. Luckily, we got three CCs to rebuild. And we killed one of the Protoss bases, so we're feeling pretty fine. We should be able to just go and kill the next one, and that'll be the final of the bases. 
Okay, we're going to uncloak. We're going to build a... We can't build a bunker because we don't have a barracks anymore. I'm going to send Kerrigan down here for safety. Looks like it was just some rally. Now, this area kind of scares me, this ramp structure. Oh, it looks like they were sending guys to go rebuild. we got to make sure that doesn't happen. A lot of guys are going to rebuild. Well, they're going to run out of workers if they keep this up. Got guys on the high ground. And we're going to swing up here. So, as I was talking about earlier before, I was so rudely interrupted by a death wave of Protoss, I think. I wanted to know how you guys, especially the people who've never seen StarCraft 1 before, how you think the Protoss have been handled. Do you think it's interesting in the beginning of StarCraft 1? Because they very, like, no Protoss has spoken at this point. We know nothing about the Protoss, really, who they are, except for the fact that they blow up planets and they have Reavers. This is the first time that you get to fight them. And we will not interact with them for the remainder of this campaign. We will not interact with them at the beginning, or until mission, I think, two or three of the next one, in terms of speaking. It's very interesting how they leave the one of the three factions as a complete enigma until the about a third of the way through the game, right? There's three campaigns in the base game, and you're done with one, and you, it's just wild to me. It's very different from a lot of storytelling. And does it do a good job of building up that mystery? Or do you think it just feels like they're almost ignoring a faction as a result? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. I have my opinions, but I don't want to weight the discussion with them. So I'm going to keep them to myself. Uh, what are some other things? I did... I should show this off because I'm an idiot. In the last VOD, it was brought to my attention that there was a mischievous engineering bay that got in the way of my commsat station. And then General Duke had to bravely save me from its devastating, devastating grasp. And I just need to explain why I'm about to die. Where's Kerrigan? She's down here, right? Okay. We're fine. I think this is the last building. So I can show... No! Please finish this. We need to make sure that our worker doesn't die here. This is very important. It's more important than living. So what I forgot is in StarCraft 1, uh, engineering bays can fly. And I spent like two minutes working on this stupid thing trying to kill it last time. When I could have just Team Rocket blasted off again with it. Yeah, I'll put this engineering bay right into this building. That's where it needs to go. Oh crap, all the Protoss aren't dead. This is bad. Base is under attack. All right, um, well, let's see if this shuttle counts, but I don't think it does. It's buildings, right? We need to go defend. Because this is not, this is not wonderful by any means. Let's get the vultures to defend. We're going to send a tank over here to try to find the remaining buildings. I bet it's like right up here. Or maybe off on this side. Right in the darkness. So you attack down here. Oh, no. Okay, Kerrigan is cloaking, and she's heading over here. We're lifting this CC. Oh, why did I have to show this off? <laughs> Curse my desire to be a good content creator. <laughs> Run, Kerrigan! It's gonna be like one pylon. I know it. Check this, check this. Where is your building? Here it is. We found the pylon. Oh, there's a Stargate, too. Base is under attack. Fire. <laughs> uh, leave it to me to turn an easy free win mission into a base trade. Come on. We're all right, I think. Where did the scout come from? And where did the Zerg go? I guess I cleared the... There's more! Oh, no. Okay, we're done. Receiving incoming transmission. This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave them. 
All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Uh, boys? How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander? Jim? What the hell is going on up there? Goodbye, Kerrigan. You were a fun character, but honestly, you didn't have that much depth to you, so they had to kill you off. I understand. Now we're going to follow the main characters for the rest of the saga. James Raynor and... Not Artur... Yeah, Arturus Mengsk. I want to call him Valerian for a sec. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. There is one more mission in the Terran campaign. I've been loving this campaign, except for this mission was a little bit too bright for me. But you know what? I'm a little bit dim, so maybe a little bit of brightness is good for me. Thank you guys for coming. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.